So just like, I just speak it now, now, right? Hi, do I say hi? Hi, my name is Estella and I'm currently a full-time artist. Um, I'm 28 years old this year. Right now, we're in Yang Gallery at Hilton Orchard and we're launching a brand new series of paintings that are inspired by the Singapore Bicentennial and it'll be on all the way till end August. I started learning that in 1999 because my, I remember my code was N99 slash 0008. So like, that was probably like P2 all the way to, to JC. So I feel that was like almost 10 years, I think, when we were learning that. Like so much of it was like, the, the grounded in science, for example. So you're actually learning something from from like a really like outrageous experiment. So you get the bunny rabbits or like they would always in, you know like bring in like just such novel and like out of this world ideas. Even when they bought us fighting fish. I remember when everyone brought back like a fighting fish, right? Like to take home, just like observe it. They always sneak things in where you're actually learning but you're not doing it like the hardcore like dumbing down on you style. I never felt that way. I just always felt like it was trickling in and I feel that that kind of learning is the most effective. Um, I think people say that like I'm super instinctive. Like I trust my gut a lot, but also like I feel like I act like really like immediately almost. I'm very immediate. I would rather just do it and fail than believe you that I will fail. <laughs> I think it, in Singapore it's not easy. It's not the easiest like career path, right, to pick this um, be an artist. But I feel that because I'm like so like doggedly focused, that urgency, um, that passion allows me to just get out there and and regardless, just you know like bulldoze my way through sometimes. Self-discipline, right? I feel it's almost universal to any career. And learning that um, there's always this reinforcing of like consistency. That comes in really handy because even though it's visual now, it's still, you have to like, put in the hours and that rigor and something that it's so applicable, you know? Yeah, so I think it's all about honing that, that creativity and never feeling like you have to compromise it. Your differences are what makes you like unique and special, and especially in this creative industry. It's discipline and like hard work cannot be faked, and it speaks for itself. So just keep making and keep like building it. Yeah. Thinking back, I feel like one thing I'll always remember is that I was never treated as a child. So I think they never ever make you feel like oh you're you're just a mere student. That's not the learning that way. Like it's always like spotlighting an individual and like kind of recognizing that everyone's so different and there's there's diversity that's celebrated and that's I guess that's why all of us have such colourful personalities coming from learning that because you never ever feel like oh yeah um, let me teach you oh what is right what is wrong it's black and white why would you want someone to tell you the answer and I think so much about living is finding out or you know like proving people wrong and like just realising that so much of it is like navigating the grey and, find, and finding that the solution that's best for yourself I think that's why like we're all so innovative and, and we can we really kind of make our own paths, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>